Hi folks, let's take a quick look at the new Sienna remote monitor for cloud-based editing and uh, monitoring downlink. So a lot of people are starting to use uh, products like Adobe Premiere Pro and Avid Media Composer hosted in the cloud in uh, Amazon Web Services or Microsoft Azure. Uh, it gives you a cloud-based powerful machine, as, as powerful as you want, as many machines as you want, lots of storage and you remotely access it using something like Remote Desktop or Teradici. And this allows people to do cloud-based editing uh, without any uh, edit infrastructure locally, that's for scalability, sharing between different time zones, things like that. There's lots of reasons why people would use cloud-based editing. One of the limitations of cloud-based uh, workflow is that even if you're using something like a Teradici remote connection, um, Whilst the GUI is pretty responsive, and even with this one, uh, with Remote Desktop, it's pretty good, um, you find that the uh, video preview in the window here um, is never perfect. It's, you know, the quality is not great. It's not really, it's not full raster. Um, you know, and even sometimes the latency can be a bit higher on here. So what's basically missing is that full quality confidence monitor that you would normally have on a dedicated HDMI display next to your crop edit system. And that's exactly what Sienna Remote Monitor does. So on the AWS machine we've got here, so this is my AWS system, and this is this machine. Um, I'm in London, the machine is in North Virginia, um, but I'm remote, I'm editing away here in, in Adobe Premiere, uh, and everything's pretty good, but what I'd like to do is I'd like to see a full quality version of that uh, edit canvas. So all I need to do is launch Remote Monitor, and here it is, this is on my local machine. I'm running on a Mac at the moment, and within a few seconds, you'll find that the remote monitor is giving us a full resolution, uh, low latency connection to the uh, AWS system. And it's providing it as a local monitor window, which can be full size if you want. Um, it's also outputting an NDI stream. So if you want to, we can connect to the NDI stream locally. If I bring up an NDI monitor, we can see remote monitor right here. So this is an NDI stream on the local network, which of course we can now send out to an NDI to HDMI converter uh, and run it full, full size on an HDMI monitor. And if we have a look at the information about the NDI stream locally, we can see if we get the stream information, this is a full HD stream with downlinking. Also, we look at the frame rate. This is the actual achieved frame rate. We're getting our full 25 frame per second downlinked. So we've got a full quality full raster uh, monitor that can be output to a you know, full screen HDMI monitor whilst we're editing in Premiere by the remote desktop connection right next to it we've got this lovely low latency uh, full quality full size uh, confidence monitor and that basically closes the loop on the whole remote editing workflow and gives people what they need and it's not just for cloud-based workflow um, other applications for this are kind of over-the-shoulder workflow where your editor is in one country and your director or somebody supervising the editing process is in another country. So in that case, the Premier system might be in, in an office in New York um, and the monitor might well be in a hotel in Los Angeles or in Europe somewhere. Um, and the person who's watching the monitor can be uh, viewing a, a full-size, uh, low-latency full quality representation of what's going on in the edit system so they can then communicate instructions to them maybe with Skype or over the telephone or however they're communicating. Anyway, that's a quick introduction to uh, Sienna's remote monitor. And if you've got any questions, please visit http.sienna.tv. Thanks for watching.